we played a game with people where they they, they had to choose between uh, three boxes. Okay, one has a, a small price, one has a large price, and one has a loss. Okay, like if you choose that box, you actually pay me money. Hmm. Okay, now we ask people which box you want to be revealed to you. Okay, like which which one you want us to point out before you play the game. But we're not going to tell you where the big prize is. You can either learn where the small prize is or the, the loss. Many people say that they want to hear where the small prize is. Okay, right. it's a mistake, right? Like, if we tell you where the loss is, now you're going to randomly choose between a big prize or a small prize. Yet, you know, almost like 30% of the people uh, chose the small prize. They didn't see the information in the, uh, in the loss. They didn't see the the information that comes when you get a, a negative uh, mm -hmm. feedback. And so I, I talk a lot in my work about why it's so hard to learn from negative feedback. But so is the, is the takeaway from that uh, that we should be giving less negative feedback and more positive feedback? Or should we be preparing people better for learning from negative feedback? And I guess, I mean, there's a little bit of both, but I, I, don't, I wonder if you have any thoughts on which, what's the optimal strategy. If I'm a manager, for example, and I'm trying to provide feedback uh, or train students yeah. or employees, what am I doing? So it's, it's a little bit of both, as, uh, yeah. uh, as you said. Uh, it's easier to learn from positive feedback. Okay? When I learn from positive, when I get positive feedback first, I, I feel good, okay? so I pay more attention. And, and second, I just need to repeat what I did, which is easier than doing the thing that I didn't try before. But the problem is that there is negative feedback, like people are doing the, the wrong thing. And like saying, well, I'm just not going to learn from mistakes means that I'm just not going to learn from a lot of like what goes wrong. And also there was often really good feedback in negative feedback. So, you know, often we are in a situation in which there are many ways to get it right, but few ways to get it wrong, which means that if you know what is the, the wrong answer, you have better information. Like if mm. you're in a now, in a restaurant, there is like one entry that you should not order. You really want to know that this is the bad entry. Okay, you right. want to tell your friends like, don't like, don't take this. I I tried it. It's not good. Everything else is great. On on top of it, often, no, we people don't like to talk about failures. People don't like to share negative feedback. But when they do, they actually give more details. So often there is information just because. You elaborate more, okay? You're telling more. If I ask you, Dilip, how are you doing? And, and you feel fine, you'll just say fine, and that's mm -hmm. it. If you say, I don't feel very well today, then you, you'll you explain. Not for more, yeah. okay. and, and, and so there is information in, in failure. There is information in negative feedback that is often much more elaborated. That is just a shame to miss.